Hello everyone, Josh from Miners here, and welcome back for another collection update video, and today we're going to be taking a look at everything I got in the month of July. So let's get right to it. Hello Detective Banks, I want to play a game. So probably by the time it's uploaded, it will probably be tomorrow or something like that. I don't know. Just depending when I get around to editing this. I got four items this month. Uh, one was actually given to me as a gift, and the other I paid for myself. So uh, let's start looking into. Um, I think I'll save the best for last, uh, or maybe the most expensive item for last. Well, I got two movies. A figure, a figurine, and one mask. I got one DVD and one 4K steelbook. And I'll start off with the DVD. The DVD I got here is The Blackening. Uh, so The Blackening is a horror comedy that came out in 2023, so last year. Haven't seen it yet. Um, this is uh, the plot of The Blackening. The Blackening follows a group of black friends uh, reunited for a Juneteenth weekend getaway, only to find themselves trapped in a remote cabin with a max killer, who forces them to play a twisted board game by his rules, which they soon realize ain't no mother bleep uh, game. They actually, actually on the back of the box actually bleeped it out. That's kind of funny. Also, like, so far I just think just based on just the description and based on the, you know, Packaging alone, I could tell this is probably going to be a funny movie. Like, uh, even the tagline here is like, we all, like, we can't all die first, you know? That's kind of a play on the whole, like, uh, stereotype in horror movies where it's like, uh, the black person dies first, and especially in slasher movies. And this is a slasher, it looks like. Uh, sp special features, audio commentary with the director, uh, Tim Story, and writers Tracy Oliver and... Uh, Dwayne Perkins do the writing thing featurette. They can't all talk first featurette. Shall we play a game featurette? Cabin in the Woods featurette. Who's the blackest featurette? Uh, it's a game show apparently. Theatrical trailer and more. So yeah, and then of course there's uh, reviews. Um, uh, like Indie Wire says it's the first great horror comedy of the post Get Out era. Drive scene Get Out. And then another tagline is your black character in a horror movie, can you survive? So yeah, it, it's very much playing on the trope of like the stereotypical trope of, in slasher movies, especially of how the black character always dies first. So, which I always found, I never really liked that trope and that's something I always try, like even in my films, I tried to avoid as possible. In fact, in my, um, in my short film, Howling the Kills of Michael Myers, uh, I do the exact opposite of that, and you'll see that if I were to post uh, the link to the short film in, in the comments down below, so... Because, uh, again, that's a very tired trope, and honestly, yeah, it's tiring because people like me are tired of it. But yeah, I'll definitely check this out at some point, and then do a review of The Blackening on my channel, so yeah. The Blackening is a 4K Blu-ray steelbook, and that is... The 4K Blu-ray steelbook of Spiral from the Book of Salt, which is the ninth entry into the Saw franchise. Um, so yeah, uh, I already had this movie. I'm not sure if you rem guys remember from a previous collection update video. It might have been on my main channel, but I did got a DVD of the film after it was soon released uh, on physical media. Um, that this is the original DVD copy I have had of the film. And this is why I used to watch it on and that. Um, the reason I picked this up is because, one, just look at it compared to this. Uh, it's gorgeous art and that. And plus, it's a steel book and it's 4K, so it's definitely an upgrade. And only that, too, 
I saw this at Walmart and I picked it up for five dollars. There was only one left there. They also had the 4K Blu-ray steelbook of uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2, um, which it seems like they no longer have in stock right now. Uh, that was also for five dollars, which is incredible, but for me, I didn't pick that up because, well, um, I already had Season 2 on DVD and that, uh, and I have yet to see the entirety of Season 2. I saw the entirety of Season 1, so if I find a 4K Blu-ray steelbook of Season 1, I'll probably get that. Especially for five bucks, uh, but I would have especially got if it was season free. If it was season free, uh, because I don't have season free of Ash vs Evil Dead, so if it was season free and it was 4K Blu-ray steelbook like this for five dollars, I would have picked that up along with this. So, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So, yeah. Um, let's see. There, if we wanted to compare. The special features on the DVD included an audio commentary with director Darren Lynn Bousman, co-writers uh, Joss Stolberg, and oh, co-writers Joss Stolberg and composer Charlie Clauser, audio, com audio commentary with producers Orrin Coles and Mark Berg, the consequences of your actions, creating spiral, uh, making of a uh, documentary, drawing inspirations, illustrated trap breakdowns featurette, decoding the marketing of spiral uh, featurette, uh, theatrical teaser trailer, and theatrical trailer. So, a uh, decent amount of special features here for just a DVD copy. But on here, um, it says audio commentary with director. It, so, the same audio commentaries uh, you get on the DVD. And the same special, like, making of the consequences of your actions. Uh, creating spiral documentary. There's also, yeah, a lot of the same special features, actually. Um, so there's no new special features as far as my understanding goes. So it all has the same. So if you want to go a bit cheaper, because um, this typically would probably cost like 30, 40 bucks, something like that, go with the DVD because it has all the same special features. So, but if you wanted a higher quality in that, get the steelbook. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, too, just FYI, I did saw this in the theater when it came out. It was actually my second saw film to see in the theater. My first Saw movie was the uh, original Saw, because there was a re-release of it, and I, I saw it at the Alma Draft House Cinema. Uh, there was a film festival there, and there was a Q&A session prior with Tobin Bell, which I met Tobin Bell, and he was awesome, so, but yeah, um, Spiral was my second theat like, Saw theatrical experience, and then Saw X was my third. And Saw 11 is probably going to be my fourth Saw movie to see in the theater, so, yeah. But the plot of Saw X is a criminal mastermind unleashes a twisted form of justice and spiral, a terrifying new chapter from the book of Saw. Working in the shadow of his father, a steam police veteran played by Samuel Jackson, uh, brash detective Ezekiel Zeke Banks, uh, played by Chris Rock, and his rookie partner played by Max Mangoa take charge of a grisly investigation into murders that are eerily reminiscent of the city's gruesome past. Unwillingly entrapped in a deepening mystery, Zeke finds himself at the center of the killer's morbid game. So, yeah, this came out in 2021, and I was able to pick this really beautiful steelbook uh, at Walmart for $5. So, that's really impressive to get a steelbook for $5, and it's kind of cool it slips off like this. And you still see the special features and all that on the back. And all it gives you here is the art. There's the art on the front. There's the spine. It's a spiral from the book of Saw. And there's the back. Again, gorgeous art here. And then there's the discs. Ooh, yeah, and the digital copy code. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably cut that but yeah there was a digital copy code I'll probably be using that if not I might do a giveaway or something like that for it maybe if you guys are interested but yeah um so the spiral from the book is saw Walmart's I believe this is a Walmart exclusive uh, Blu-ray still, but got for five dollars. That's an amazing deal right there. Now this was given to me as a gift, uh, 
so recently. Um, yeah. And that is this. It's, uh, it's from Micro Machine. It's a micro figure, actually. Micro Machine stuff. Uh, it's from a company called World Smallest, I believe. That's the company name. I believe, um, yeah, uh, World Smallest, uh, so, and this is a really tiny Chucky figure. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this might be from the Ch Chucky TV show. I don't know. But see, just look at the guy here. Just look how tiny he is. And it says, collect them all. Uh, so, so far they have Chucky from the Child's Play franchise. They have Michael Myers from Halloween 2 specifically. And they have uh, Hellboy from Hellboy 2, the Golden Army. I'm probably not interested in getting Hellboy, but I will, maybe, if I could, get uh, the Michael Myers one. And this is cool. Uh, there's a... Uh... Yeah. Um... Oh, three points of articulation. There's a figure stand included, and there's also the knife. Uh, it says micro pop figure with mini display case. So... Yeah, that's cool. Uh, now, the person who gave me this, um, she got it for me at a, uh, at a flight below. So, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, this was a really nice gift. This was a really thoughtful one. So, and it will be displayed in the collection. Now, in the comment section below, do you guys think I should uh, keep this in the packaging since it's so small and I could just easily mount it on my wall? Or... Do you think that I should open it and have it be all displayed out and all of that stuff? Tell me in the guy well, tell me in the comments below what you think I should do with this specifically. If the overwhelmingly majority of comments says I should open it, I will open it. If the majority of comments say otherwise, I will keep it in the packaging and just have it hanging up in my wall in the collection. Okay, so now the final thing in my collection that I just picked up uh, is this. Da, 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 da. And that is the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 5 The Revenge of Michael Myers replica mask. Now, if you don't know, I'm not a big fan of this max. Now, I will say it's not the worst max of the franchise, but it's not the best either. I got it because A, I'm a completionist. I was playing getting all the Michael Myers max and from uh, Tots at some point. And it was on sale on Amazon for like 40 something dollars. It was the cheapest I've ever seen it. So I picked it up. And again, this came from a company called Merch to Rock, which is a company based in California. So I have been purchasing Max from them, and their Max are pretty good. I believe a lot of these are, I know for a fact, are the ones they sell out are the, uh, come from the Trick or Treat Studios website, not any like, third-party store affiliate like uh, Party City, Spirit Halloween. Um, the way I could tell is because it comes with a side tag. If it's a side tag, that comes directly from the Trick or Treat Studios website. If not, then it's either from Party City, Spirit Halloween, or wherever, really. So that is it for this uh, collection update video. Um, like, like you saw, I didn't got that much uh, this month, uh, well, in July. But as of recording this, it's now August. It just turned August, so um, didn't got that much. Uh, I will be going, potentially going to the Spirit Halloween this month. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also, too, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button.